to, to be truthful, I spent in the UK almost two years. And okay. it was the worst two years I ever had in my life. Uh, people have imaginations that people are having such a high quality life uh, in the UK. But from my experience, it was completely different. Truthful, France isn't great either. France, mm -hmm. if, if there are people watching me right now thinking that uh, Europe has uh, mm. a, a good life they are uh, they are mistaken because yes on paper yes they get more money for work yes on paper they earn more but in reality food is more expensive rent is more expensive everything is expensive uh, people think that africa is poor people think that africa has uh, uh, only poverty and hunger. But uh, from what I've seen, oh, I only tell you that I'm here only for a few days, but from what I see, people live better lives. People live better mm -hmm. lives. What was the agreement? Were you giving some money or something to, to move? Yes, the agreement was that you get one off payment of 3,000 pounds and you also get five years guaranteed accommodation in a Rwanda refugee camp. That's mm. the agreement. And okay. you are provided with food, you are provided with uh, everything you need to, to be alive for five years. Sasha, if now the UK government says, okay, we want to bring you back to the UK and uh, I mean, we'll give you papers, move freely, go and work. Are you not going back? to the uk yeah to the uk i don't plan to go to the uk what i can tell you is that i might consider going to other places but definitely not the uk are you saying you regret going to the uk Pep, what's very what you are saying? So. Like... very much so it was the worst decision i ever made mm. It was the worst Indeed. decision I ever made. You never knew all these things until you got there, right, Per? What yes. you are saying? Yes. I had imagination that it's a good place. But once I get there, you know the way you have uh, certain expectations and none of them expectations were actually fulfilled because I was thinking in my mind that once I get there, I will have job i will buy a house i will have a car i will have a family but uh, i was watching local british people struggling to pay rent i was watching british people that lived their their whole lives uh, not being able to afford basic things um, and uh, what can a refugee afford you know someone that is there their whole life has more opportunities than someone that is only through the door. But mm -hmm. the, the refugee camp itself is, uh, is far better than uh, what there was in the UK. Far better. Oh, okay. What about uh, the food and all that? I mean, are they treating you well? Food is good. Uh, and to be truthful, um, British food is tasteless. You know, you <laughs> eat it and there is no taste. Uh, you eat meat, you eat meat, and it doesn't taste like meat. From the way you are talking, it looks like you now you don't like anything, anything British. <laughs> no, because there is nothing to like. There is nothing to like. Yes, because they have wrong picture. They think Rwanda is poor. They think there is no money, there is no jobs. Uh, but uh, from what I can tell, there is more here than in the UK.